So the Concord servers are shutting down this week. This is nuts. Uh, I actually was planning on doing a follow-up video to my Concord beta impressions video, and some of the footage, by the way, that you'll be seeing is from, I think, the third or fourth day of the game being actually out there for the public. So some of this footage is a little outdated. You can see right here, I've got some of my general account stats. This is actually uh, very outdated at this point. I think I'm more like maybe 250 games played, 230 games won, something like that. So a little outdated. But again, I had intended on making this video as a beta impressions video follow-up that I kind of did a couple weeks ago. Instead, this is turning into a, well, what now for, for this game and for Firewalk? Because this is pretty nuts. Uh, in a statement, you know, from uh, Firewalk themselves, they basically said, hey, the servers are shutting down on the 6th. We need to evaluate the game the good and the bad, what we want to do as a studio, what we want to do with the game moving forward. Concord is gone. They are shutting the servers down on the 6th. They are, they've already delisted the game on all storefronts and they are refunding people their money, which never happens. Sony is notorious for rarely handing out refunds. They did it for Cyberpunk, which, you know, rightfully so, the PlayStation 4 version was completely broken at launch. But generally speaking, they never give refunds. So the fact that they're allowing this to go through, they're actually going to, you know, they've already delisted the game. They're issuing these refunds that are going to take place, you know, over the course of 30 to 60 days, depending on, you know, where you bought the game. This is real. And so I still wanted to make a video today to talk about my time with the game. I put about 50 hours into the game. I'm at account level 45. I don't want to spend too much time talking about the pros and the cons of this game because I already did that in my beta impressions video and pretty much everything that I talked about in the impressions video applies to how I still feel about the game. However, I've actually come away feeling a bit more negative about this game um, over time. 50 hours in, there really isn't a lot of content here. So I think part of it is, yeah, they're pulling this game. They've attracted a very small audience. Some of the audience really likes it, but there's, you know, there's arguably there's issues with this game that still, even from, from the beta to now, they managed to fix several issues, but there's still just a larger problem with this game. When I first read uh, the original message from uh, the Firewalk team, the fact that they're going to be pulling this game completely off of stores and reissuing, you know, all the money to people that have, you know, spent on the game, this to me signifies that they're going to go free to play. But the problem is going free to play for this game isn't going to solve anything. Unfortunately, people have already made up their minds about this game, the lack of identity for its characters, and the fact that it really doesn't do anything new in this space. So unless Sony and Firewalk are going to be over the next six to 12 months, kind of revamping the game overall. And it's funny because this is almost going to, it could turn into an Overwatch, Overwatch 2 situation where Concord comes back and they're just like Concord 2. It's new and not Concord 1. The problem is Overwatch 1 already had a very solid base uh, and a very dedicated player base that were willing to hop into the quote unquote Overwatch 2 which, you know, also promised a bunch of new game modes and things like that, which I'll talk about in just a second. But the player base for Concord is maybe 25,000 players concur like not even concurrently. So it's really, it's really weird that they may spend another six to 12 months retooling things and just kind of reshaping the game as we currently know it. And to talk about my time with the game, uh, because again, the servers are shutting down in a day. So I just want to talk about my experience with the game at full retail launch, 50 hours in, over 200 matches played. And again, I think from the beta impressions video, everything that I had issues with in the game, for the most part, were fixed, but there's still some things that are really problematic with this game. And I'll say that the Brawl playlist mode and the Overrun playlist mode, which is like Dominion, King of the Hill, Team Deathmatch, you know, Trophy Hunt, or um, Kill Confirm, those are all fine. I think they fit the format of the game well. But the Rivalry playlist does not fit this game at all. If you don't know, the Rivalry playlist mode is basically their competitive mode. But the problem is the competitive mode, first of all, I don't think it fits the format very well. 5v5 hero shooter. I just do not think the abilities synergize well enough. There, are, there aren't enough character abilities that synergize with each other. Uh, you have Devere's like canister ability that it, uh, it kind of pairs well with Haymar's flame ability. They, they ignite pretty quickly. So there's a handful of situations like that, but there aren't that many abilities that synergize or work well together. Unlike something, you know, like Overwatch 1 where tank abilities and ultimates could synergize and kind of create these cool playmaking abilities. There isn't that much here. And so the competitive mode for me just feels like another mode that first of all, nobody plays. Nobody played it when the game came out early access. Nobody played it when it was full release. Nobody plays the competitive mode. And for me, I, again, I think it's because the game mode doesn't work well with the type of game that this is. 
but I also think it's because the abilities don't synergize well enough or there aren't too many abilities that create those playmaking capabilities in a competitive mode. But there's also no ranked system. And I really, for me personally, I'm more incentivized to compete or try out a ranked mode if there is some sort of ranking system, some sort of tier system, some sort of metal system, anything. But there isn't any reason to play the rivalry play mode. Uh, maybe you get a couple extra, you know, thousand experience for playing. Cool. It doesn't really move the needle for me. Also, kind of going back to one of the things that I had mentioned in my beta impressions video about the progression being slow, I kind of thought maybe since it was the beta, you know, weekend that they were gating things off from players, you know, actually earning more, unlocking more. That's not the case. The progression in this game does need to be reworked a little bit. I've spent 50 hours in the game, again, over 200 matches, and I maybe have a handful of things that I can look at and say, oh, that was cool. I unlocked that. Let me go equip this. But 90% of the cosmetics and the unlocks are fine. There's maybe, again, like 10% that are really worth chasing. This was intended to be a, you know, several hundred hours worth of grind and unlock. But this stuff just isn't worth it. It needs to unlock quicker if, if the cosmetics are going to look like this for the most part. One other thing, one other note on the progression is that now that we actually have access to the galactic map, where you can basically read up on the game's lore, the character's lore, planet lore, things like that. 90% of the lore, quote unquote, that is featured in the galactic map or the, you know, galaxy compendium, whatever it's called, it's kind of fluff and it's not presented in a way that f it's just, it's just a bunch of white text displayed in a small pop-up modal. Like whoever thought it was smart to lay out the galactic map in that way and, and sort of dispense lore like that it was a bad idea you're just reading tons and tons and tons of text that 90 percent of it again isn't really useful it just contextualizes like oh route 62 is connection to route 66 and the free gunners use it to transport salt or whatever it's like okay who cares that's not groundbreaking lore i think of the 10 percent of the lore that's actually meaningful it would have to do with the character lore and the the planets for the characters so like there was a i believe a clax is the planet where uh, uh, Lennox grew up. He's a Claxton, and so they give context about the planet itself and sort of how that feeds into the traditional lifestyle of the you know species that lives on the planet and where sort of Lennox fits into it. And stuff like that is awesome, and it does contextualize that character. But then you have like, oh, port system 11234 is where you trade blah, blah, blah. Like, that stuff doesn't really do anything for me, and it really just feels like padding. Like, oh, well, we ran out of lore for this character, so let's just add all these trading routes. That's not interesting for me. Also, the other thing with the progression as well um, is that you can upgrade your goal. You can sort of upgrade your profile, your account level. So like, you know, your, your main account level. But then there's also an account level for all the lore that you read. But you don't get rewards for reading the lore. You just increase your level for the lore tier that you have it's just it just seems like such a weird thing to include if you're not going to give players some sort of incentive to you know some sort of incentive to read the lore in the first place it's just a it's just some sort of level some sort of number that exists that doesn't really do anything for your account you're just reading a bunch of plain text and getting a bunch of xp that doesn't really result in anything meaningful so why even include it why even have it in the game why it just doesn't make any sense. If you're going to associate a leveling system to your account profile and this lore profile that you have for all the lore that you read, actually have it do something. Maybe unlock more lore for one of your most played characters. Have it do something meaningful. But, you know, if I'm, I'm lore level 10 or galactic lore level 10, whatever the heck it is, like, who cares? It, it's just like, you don't even care at that point. It just seems kind of silly. So what do I think is going to happen with this game? I know a lot of people kind of already given their two cents on it. I, I kind of agree with what I'm seeing online and having played the game, having read all the discourse online about the characters, their design, things like that. I mean, I feel like this game just goes away at this point. I don't really think there is a Concord 2, sort of like an Overwatch 2 kind of moment here. That doesn't, they don't really get that. There's nothing earned in that way. Since day one, and I said this in my beta impressions video, the marketing has been very piss poor for this game. Since day one, up until launch, the marketing has been abysmal. Not only that, the character identity, people don't like the characters, they don't like how they look, how they talk. Those things people remember. And I think at this point, if they're removing the game to quote unquote evaluate or assess sort of where they want to be within the market, find their like product market fit, to, so to speak. I don't really think there is one for this game because again, the this is already sort of like tainted. 
this game has uh, already kind of left a bad impression in a lot of people's mouths. So what can be done about I sort of taking this game away and then bringing it back six months later? The only thought I have was that if they introduce some sort of like refined skill-based matchmaking system, they improve their competitive game modes, maybe just remove the, the rivalry playlist altogether and create one new game mode that sort of ties into the lore of the game, maybe more of like a payload, payload uh, gameplay mode, like an Overwatch, something at least that works well with the format because the current competitive quote-unquote game mode does not work at all. And if they want to shift away from competitive game modes and they just want to make this game more casual overall, which I don't think they would do, they should just instead relaunch the game with the brawl and overrun game modes and the pve game mode that i'm pretty sure they are developing i kind of talked about this in my beta impressions video they had pve gameplay system designers working at firewalk for this game presumably for this game and there were pve engineers and designers that were credited in the game credits so clearly they were working or they are working on a pve game mode and honestly that might be something worth you know marketing if the game does come back you could say like, oh, you know, Concord is back. It has a revised look, new designs, and it's launching with PVE day and date, and it'll be free to play, which is kind of an obvious thing based, again, based on the refunds that this game will be free to play when it comes back, if it comes back at all, which I don't think it will come back. I think it's just dead at this point for sure. But those are the things that they could try and push. I know I've kind of been jumping around this video. Uh, again, this wasn't sort of planned. It was more of supposed to be just discussions about, the, you know, how the game functions a week after launch, things like that. But just this has turned into a very different type of video. But I will sort of end things off by saying of the 50 hours I've played with the game, I think the first 20, I was really enjoying myself having a good time. The more time I spent with it, I realized there are things that even though there were more features and more modes, present at launch than something like Overwatch 1 when it first came out. Things have changed. Um, I think after, you know, 30 hours or so, I kind of started getting a little fatigued with the same sort of brawl playlist mode that I was, you know, playing over and over and over again. And the progression was not really grabbing me, so they'd have to rework the progression system, which if this game does come back again, it'll be free to play and they'll probably have a battle pass, you know, microtransactions, all that, all that jazz, right? Which could solve that, but at the end of the day, they have to have meaningful cosmetics and they actually have to you know apply to these characters that you care about that are interesting to look at and that people like and if if you can't do that then no one's going to care anyway in the first place nobody does this nobody just pulls the game from storefronts and issues refu refunds across the board that is so out of characteristic for just you know sony and just it is something you don't see so yeah they, they're, they're probably thinking well, let's go free to play let's maybe retool like the game modes and sort of what we're uh, emphasizing here but this just seems to me like you know it'll it'll kind of live on as this really weird game that came out a lot of people hated some people really enjoyed myself included I did, I did enjoy quite a bit of it and so it just might live on as one of those very weird moments in PlayStation history where game came out flopped and then everybody moved on from it if i'm if i you know if i'm wrong about this cool i would love to see firewalk they're a very capable team they they clearly know how to build a game which is not an easy thing to do people think it's so easy to build a game yeah no it's not you're lucky if the game even gets made let alone you know funded and released but to create the the, the movement and the look and the feel of something it is very hard to capture that and i think firewalk have done a great job because the team from a, from a development standpoint from an engineering level they know how to build a good game but let's see what's going to happen here let's see if they're actually going to rework or retool most of this game or if it's just going to go away and disappear into the ether i think it will but you know i hope it doesn't i hope that the team is able to create something new even if it's not concord i hope they get a second chance to make something uh maybe a little bit different than this hopefully a little bit different than this but only time's going to really tell I know this kind of turned into a rant ramble sort of video kind of went off topic a few times but i do appreciate all of you for sticking around just kind of giving the video a listen giving the video a watch that always means a lot to me and uh, until next time i will see you all on the next video